rain, rain, and then more rain. And when you think it's all finished, more comes. So we're still sitting here in BC. It's Saturday and this is just gonna be like a short one take vlog. And tomorrow will be much the same. I'm gonna clean up this truck uh, tomorrow and Sunday. That'll be my project for the day. And uh, we're waiting for Monday to come around so that we can get our freight that we were supposed to load on Friday, but now we're loading on Monday. And it's been raining. I thought that for sure, like, oh, I'll be here for the weekend. I'll get lots of walks and maybe I'll do six miles a day, right? Instead of my usual three, who know? No, it's been raining non-stop. It's pretty, it's pretty light right now, actually. I was gonna step outside and show you around a little bit, but uh, yeah, don't, don't let it, uh, don't let it deceive you. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. As soon as you step outside, it just starts pouring. So it, it pours for like five minutes, and then it's a light rain for five minutes, and then it pours for five minutes, and then it turns into this nice little spit. Like it's just constantly spitting. There's always, there's always water that's falling in some form. And then you're like, okay, well this isn't so bad. You start walking and it starts pouring. <laughs> Man, how do you guys live out here? Is it always like this? It's just rain, rain, rain. But it's been waiting here for, for the weekend to be over. Let's see what happens if we step outside just for a second. I'm just gonna show you where we're at here. I just have the truck running just to charge up my batteries a bit. And to uh, let my computer run because I'm doing some computer work. But this is where we're at, just hanging out. There you go. There you go. Get in there. Nice and green, though. I mean, not a surprise. It's always raining. It's getting plenty of water. <laughs> Should have taken my glasses off. No, I got water drops on the glasses. That's fine. So, if you didn't tune in yesterday, uh, we were gonna go pick up our load. It was Friday, right at the end of the day, and uh, things sort of uh, went sideways on us. And uh, I've got to go back over there on Monday grab our load so I was supposed to be sitting in Edmonton right now in Alberta and I was gonna unload first thing Monday morning but uh, now we're still here in lower mainland we'll start from here first thing Monday morning I'll be on their doorstep like right when they open 7 a.m. we'll get the freight thrown on the trailer and then I'll quickly run up to Edmonton then and we'll deliver it first thing Tuesday morning instead but uh, this is part of trucking. So I would have had to be been sitting in Edmonton anyways. It's, now I'm just sitting here. I just feel like in Edmonton, the weather would have probably been a little bit better. I could have gotten my walks and my exercise in. I could go walking in the rain too, and I probably will, because if it doesn't slow down any more than this, I'm just gonna go anyways. I mean, a little water's never hurt me before, as long as it's not pouring rain, right? I need about a good hour of just light rain and I can get my, my walk in. We'll try and figure that out, but just wanted to check in with you guys on Saturday and Sunday. There won't be any videos other than this. Just checking in. So I have a question for you guys though. Uh, you guys who are on the road and you drive and you're out for long periods of time and you have to do resets like this on the road. What do you do on your reset? Now for people who don't drive truck, they probably don't know what a reset is. If you're new to my channel, you probably haven't heard that term before. So a reset, we're only allowed to work 70 hours in a week as truck drivers. Uh, in the US, you can work 70 hours within eight days, no more. In Canada, it's 70 hours within seven days. But at the end of that, if you want a full 70 hours back and start your logbook all over, you gotta take a weekend and you have to stop for a reset. In the US, you only have to stop for 34 hours. Then that gives you a new 70 hour work week. In Canada, you gotta stop for 36 hours and it gives you a new 70 hour work week. So I'm stopping here for 36 hours. And my question to you guys is, what do you do on your reset when you're in the truck all by yourself on the road? For me, I always have stuff to do because I make videos here on the internet that takes a lot of time. When I stop for my weekend or for my reset, pretty much the entire reset is just me catching up with my videos, getting them edited, rendered, compressed, uploaded. 
and getting them onto the internet. That takes like a whole day. Uh, especially if I haven't done anything during the week. Sometimes my week is very rushed and I don't do any editing during the week. Uh, I've just got to go, go, go. So I catch up on the weekend. That's why my videos are about a week behind. It gives me that buffer zone so that I can still try to get my videos out consistently to you every day. So, I mean, my time is always spoken for. I never have, I never have a problem of being bored on the road. How about you guys who don't make videos every day and you don't have your entire life, uh, your time consumed by stuff? Do you guys read on the road? Do you watch Netflix, Prime Video? Do you guys watch movies? Do you go for a walk? Do you go and explore the town? Maybe take a, an Uber or taxi into town? Maybe go see a movie? Sometimes then I have like an extra day off and all my videos and I have all my work caught up with and I have a whole day just to do nothing. Sometimes I'll go and find a Cineplex and go watch a movie in the theaters. I've done that. I've taken myself out to the movies many times over the years. You guys go find a nice restaurant? I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments section how you spend your 34 to 36 hour resets on the road. Or do you just sit and do absolutely nothing and stare out the windshield like this? For 36 hours. Or 34 if you're in the US. <laughs> So tomorrow, on Sunday, I'm, I am gonna have a day, an extra day just to do nothing, right? And there is a Cineplex just down the street, but I don't wanna spend money right now, I'm trying to save money. Uh, I have some financial goals that I'm trying to meet. So I don't have money to go out and take myself out to the movies right now. So what I'm gonna do instead, like I was telling you earlier, I'm gonna completely gut this truck out. All of these shelves you can see here are all packed full of stuff. All stuff that I need or have needed at one point. On this side, I've got my clothes. I've got my uh, my jeans up there, right? Winter jeans. That was my summer jeans in there. An extra sheet. Got some laundry stuff up there. It's it's uh, it's all in its spot, but there's a lot of stuff in here that I've put in here that I don't need. So I'm gonna take everything out, and if I haven't touched it in like three three months. I don't need it with me every every day. I'm gonna put it all in one specific bag or something. I'm gonna get it out of the truck. If it's garbage, I'll throw it out. Uh, if not, then I'll uh, take it out of the truck when I get back to the shop. Clean everything out. Use my bull snot to completely detail down my whole dash and my truck on the inside here. Make sure everything's clean again. Because you know, if you don't clean your truck regularly, it gets disgusting and it gets gross. Bacteria builds up on everything. Right, because you're constantly touching stuff like this, right? And what do you got on your hands? You got, oh, you always got bacteria on your hands, especially if you don't wash them like every 10 minutes. <laughs> like that, gets your truck dirty. You don't want to live in a dirty truck, do you? Bacteria starts to stink, and then your truck starts to stink, and then people get into your truck, and they're like, what's that smell? And you got to explain to them, I'm sorry, I stink. <laughs> so, that's that. I don't really have anything else to share with you guys today. Uh, like I said yesterday though, Monday, we're gonna have a pretty scenic trip as we go through the mountains towards Edmonton. And that's gonna be different scenery than we had coming in. Because we came in from Calgary on the Trans-Canada 1. Now we're gonna be going up Highway 5, the Coquihalla to Kamloops, and then Highway 5 up towards Jasper, Alberta, and then east to Edmonton. So it'll be a total different trip heading out of the mountains than we had coming into the mountains. So I encourage you, please tune in. I'll have another short video for you tomorrow, I'm sure. If not, we'll be back uh, we'll be back on the road on Monday. Take care everybody and thanks for checking in. It can be lonely out here on the road. I'm glad you decided to spend a few minutes with me. <laughs>